Hi Sagittarius, hope you guys are all doing really well. So welcome to your general love reading for mid-September to the end of September 2022. This is a general reading and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It's not going to resonate with all of you because it is general. And also the roles can be reversed for that exact same reason. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what is going on between you and another person. In the second half of September 2022 for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. All right, for the situation, we have the Three of Wands crossed by the chariot okay somebody is really really waiting here for something to take off um for something to just happen already um for somebody to take some kind of action um it, it feels almost like there's been a plan for this but it's like that plan has been delayed and the challenge is to actually just go for it um so whatever that is about we also do have cancer okay showing up here in the recent past we have the page of cups okay so it feels like recently there might have been some kind of communication or some kind of contact between the two of you if you are in contact or if you've been in contact this could be like some kind of a heart to heart conversation an apology even but i feel like there's been something and it could even be something very very subtle like um you know one of you passing on a message to the other indirectly either through social media or through other people but there's definitely something here um, in the recent past where there was some kind of a something um, that was a little bit emotional. Let's see for your energy. We have the Nine of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Ooh, okay, there's, there's some stress here. There's been some anxiety um, and it feels like there's still some anxiety here, especially in terms of waiting for something to manifest, waiting for something to come together or waiting for that plan to actually materialize. Let's see, for them we have, ooh, the devil. Okay, Capricorn, some of you might be dealing with a Capricorn, doesn't have to be, and the Two of Swords. All right, so this person, um, there's something here. There's something that they are attached to, could be anything. It could even, it could be a third party, a, um, an unhealthy relationship. It could be an addiction. It could be a negative thought pattern. Um, whatever it is, there's something here that's holding them down, holding them back. And I feel like they're having a hard time getting away from this, whatever it is, right? With that two of swords, like they know it's not for them. They know that it's not good for them, whatever this is. It could even be just a behavior. Um, but it feels like there's some stagnation. But it's almost like they don't, I'm getting here, it's like they don't agree with this devil energy. Like they don't like it. They don't want it. They, they see it for what it is. Let's see what is coming up in the near future. We have the Six of Swords. Okay, so this is good because this is, it's either, whether it's you or them, it doesn't matter, but somebody is moving away here, moving away from some kind of conflict, some kind of pain, some kind of a past situation. Um, and it's coming in with this sense of saving, saving something either saving oneself or saving um, a connection or just saving something. Um, let's see the message for you. We have the Wheel of Fortune. All right, so there's a change. There's a shift um, that is very, very possible here. So let's clarify. Let's see what all of this is about. So let's see that Three of Wands with the Chariot. The Four of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Empress. All right, um, whatever the situation is, 
it's brought about a lot of disappointment, a lot of um, depression even. I, I, it just feels like there's been this very passive kind of a, a, an energy here. Um, again, it's like this delay in a plan, you know, that just feels like it's not going through. Like it's just not, like maybe it starts and then it just doesn't finish. Something along those lines. Um, there's a lot of back and forth. A lot of back and forth. But we do have the Empress here. So I, it also comes in like, yeah, you know, it's like this potential is there like to really have this healthy lifestyle, a healthy connection, a healthy behavior, a healthy relationship. It's really just about somebody actually, I mean, I'm literally hearing like getting off their ass, <laughs> get off of your ass and, and move, like actually take some action here. No more delaying. Um, I don't need to clarify this recent past. I feel like it, it really just is um, pretty clear. Let's see that Nine of Swords in your energy. All right, Justice and the King of Cups. All right, so Libra. This anxiety, the stress that you're feeling, um, I get that, you know, you feel like, you know, that there, that there is love here, right? There's a lot of emotions here and you know that. But there's a sense of you feeling injustice, feeling like, you know, you haven't gotten the treatment that you, that you deserve. Um, that things are almost feeling like something is unfair here and this is something that has been affecting your your emotional stability and this is causing a lot of anxiety a lot of stress because it just feels like things are out of out of balance in some way um, let me see the seven of Pentacles the two of cups and the seven of cups yeah, it's almost like it's almost like it's hard for you to understand um, what's going on here because it's like you, like I said, you know, you feel this love, you feel like this could be something, you know, so beautiful that Two of Cups, like you feel that, and then it's confusing because it's like, okay, well, where is it? Like, why is this plan like, or things are taking so long to come together? Whatever it is, you know, that needs to be done here in order for things to be good between the two of you. Um, whatever action this is that needs to be taken. I, again, it feels like there's some plan that is being like delayed. And so this can cause a lot of um, confusion for you or maybe, you know, you just not knowing how you should react or, or, you know, like what alternatives you should take, something along those lines. Two sevens here, by the way, for you. Let's see what's happening here with this person. Let's see the devil. Ooh, okay, the Six of Swords showing up here and the Five of Cups. All right, okay. So that Six of Swords, which is in the near future, is actually showing up in your person's energy, especially attached to the devil. Um, so whatever it is that is unhealthy for them, right, whatever this toxic thing that they are involved with, I see them moving away from that. Um, moving away from that, but still crying over it though, whatever that is. So there's definitely either some feelings of guilt or just having a hard time releasing it, but I do see them moving away from it in some way, but they're still also kind of still holding on to it at the same time. Like, so, so to me, it feels like it's kind of like the beginning of the walking away of that, leaving it somehow in the past or recovering from this, whatever it is. Um, but again, it's like, it's happening in a very, very difficult way where it's like, yeah, it's like they're crying over it. So I don't see them being in a very, um, happy or positive energy here at all, at all. Like I said, this is somebody who sees this, who knows that they need to walk away from whatever it is that is holding them back like that, restraining them, whatever this attachment is. 
they know that and so that's why I feel like you know they are but again I, it's 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 creating a lot of grief for them let's see the two of swords the page of pentacles and the four of swords Again, it's like it's a baby step with that page of pentacles. Um, definitely recovering from something. It definitely feels like, you know, whatever this process is, it is a little bit slow. And I hate to say that, but it, I mean, it's just, I mean, the challenge is the chariot, which is for something to happen fast, right? And then what we're seeing in this person's energy, the page of pentacles, the four of swords, the two of swords, it's... Uh, it's not very fast moving. I feel like this person needs time to heal from whatever this devil's energy is. But again, like I said, they are moving away from it. It could, it could even be some kind of a loss that they have not um, recovered from or that they have not detached from. Like it could even be something from the past. It doesn't have to be something that they're involved with now. It could even be, you know, family related. It could be anything. And like I said, for some of them, it could even be an addiction. Um, whatever it is, I do see them moving away from it. It's just not happening very, very fast. But they are healing. They know that they are not aligned with that energy. And I feel like this is something that they are, that they are learning, actually. And almost like they're learning how to heal from it. Almost like, you know, they didn't know how to heal from it from before. And it's like now they're learning what it is that doesn't resonate with them and learning how to heal from that in order to move on. So that's positive. Let's see the Six of Swords. The Page of Swords and the Hanged Man. Yeah, so they're still learning this. It's like they're still learning how to leave this behind them. Um, I do see there being some kind of action, but again, it's two pages. I, I feel like it's, it's like small steps, but it's there. Like they're researching this. They're learning about it. They're learning, okay, how do I, how do I, you know, release this attachment, whatever it is, this unhealthy behavior, this unhealthy relationship, this unhealthy lifestyle, whatever. Um, how do I leave this behind? How do I recover from this? How do I heal this? What is the healthiest way to move away from this? So they're seeing this in a very, very new from a very new perspective from a very different perspective than they were seeing it before and this is actually helping them a lot um so yeah all right let's see that wheel of fortune now that wheel of fortune really makes sense here right i mean that because it does feel like you know there can be a very positive shift in this situation and we have the ten of cups and the nine of cups wow all right, that's love and happiness, wish fulfillment. I mean, that's beautiful. So it's like the wheel is turning. Um, and, you know, I do feel like it's almost like it's happening inevitably. Like, and whether it be with this person or with somebody else, that's just something that is here for you, all right? You can have this happiness. You can have a wish fulfillment. You can have love and happiness in your life, basically. Like, that's there. It, it, it's, it's like right there in your potential. So regardless of what happens with this person, although of course for a lot of you, you know, it could definitely be related to this person. Okay, so let's see. Something is definitely shifting here. Final message for Sagittarius, please. And we have co-create. Yeah, so I feel like it's the divine really working with you or working with this person um, to co-create this healthier way of being for the both of you, whether that be together or whether that be individually. And I'm also getting a very specific message that some of you are meant to actually work together on something and co-create, all right, which is also in line with this Empress here. So I'm leaving it at that, Sagittarius. I thank you so much for watching and much love.